In a previous solar-powered blimp drone update, I had showed you some new solar panels. You can see those right next to my old solar cells here. These new ones are far smaller, lighter, and yet have greater power. So that's great. But how do they perform in bad weather conditions? Well, let's connect this thing to my power and control systems from the solar-powered blimp and see how it does on a cloudy day. Okay, so this is starting out with completely dead batteries, less than 5 volts on each batteries, and they're 6.6 .6 volt nominal batteries. And we've got heavy cloud cover. As you can see, it can keep that motor running, even with the sun behind the clouds. It may look like the propeller isn't spinning very quickly, but that's just because of the very high shutter speed on my digital camera. It's actually moving pretty rapidly. It's probably hard to read the values on my charge controller, that's the thing to the left of the propeller mount. But in the raw footage, I can see that it is, very slowly, charging those batteries. On occasion, the sun will get so dim that the solar panels are no longer enough to keep the motor running, and when that happens, the batteries take over to provide the clinch power that is needed. So sometimes the batteries are drained, sometimes they are charged, but overall, it does make some headway into charging those batteries, even on this cloudy day. That is very impressive. I'm really liking these new solar cells. As the sun sets, my charge controller shuts off because it no longer has any power coming in from the panels. Yet, that motor continues to spin for another 30 minutes, even though we started with dead batteries. Not bad at all. So I'm looking forward to what I can do with these cells in the actual unit, um, and I'm going to keep uh, giving you these updates, and uh, please uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel if this is the sort of thing you'd like to see more of, and I will see you next time.